Hey guys, I'm going to be doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag. I've seen this tag going around and I think it's a lot of fun. I've been really enjoying watching everybody else's videos and so I decided to do it as well. Um, I think it's a good opportunity to talk about books and authors that usually wouldn't make it to our channel. So I'm just going to jump right in. There are 10 questions I think. And the first question is, popular book series you didn't like? There are a couple of books that I thought about when I first heard this question. I'm just going to go for one that is very easily recognizable and I just did not like at all. And that is Brave New World. I first read this and gave it, I think, three stars because I was like, mm, I can kind of see the value in it and how different it would have been for the time it was written. But after thinking about it, it was just so bad. And then when I read 1984, which is like its counterpart, um, it was just so much better than Brave New World. I just did not connect with it at all. Popular book or series everyone hates but you love. At first, I couldn't really think of one because most of the books that I love are, you know, classics or something like that where, you know, they're popular for a reason. But there is a book that I have seen come up in a lot of these tag videos and that's Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. I actually really like this book and even though the main character is a little problematic because he's just a little too perfect, um, I still enjoyed it. I thought it was a really unique premise but that's one that I thought of that I really liked but nobody else seems to care for. Love Triangle, where the main character ended up with the person you didn't want them to end up with. Um, this was really hard to think of an answer for because a lot of the books that I enjoy or I love um, don't really have love triangles in them. But I do have one that came to me just recently while I was thinking about these answers. And that's Aragorn, Arwen, and Elwin. I know that Aragorn and Arwen are like the OTP of OTPs, but... I thought that the book could have been a lot better if Arwen and Aragorn would have recognized that they were not meant to be together and that their love story was, you know, genuine and all this, but um, they were just not meant to have a life together. And I thought Elwin would have been perfect for Aragorn. I thought that he could have really settled down with her and um, I don't know, they would have had sexy babies. I don't know. I think Elwin would have... It, seems to me a much better match for Aragorn. Arwen and Aragorn are still great. I just think they were not meant to be for really good reasons. I have a lot of feelings about this. I'm noticing. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna say I think Aragorn should have been with Elwin, but I'm not mad that he's with Arwen. Let's just, do, let's just say that. Popular book genre you hardly reach for. Um, YA. I also don't really read a lot of romance novels. Um, for some reason, you know, when I'm in the bookstore and I see all of these Fabio covers, I just am not interested at all. It's actually a huge turn off because I'm just like, this is not for me. But I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not opposed to reading a good love story. So um, I want to give more romance books a try because I know there has to be, you know, some decent ones out there but I just don't reach for them at all. Popular or beloved character you don't like? I have two for this. Um, the first one is Gale from The Hunger Games. I thought his character could have been developed a lot more. I thought a lot more could have been done with his character for the story and he is just annoying the whole time. And then another one is Mr. Rochester from Jane Eyre. And I noticed this recently because I was reading, like, you know, I, sometimes I reread my Goodreads reviews so to make sure that they're, you know, the spelling and grammar are correct because I'm crazy. And um, I was rereading my Jane Eyre review that I wrote and I noticed that the entire review is just about Jane and how much I love Jane. There is no mention of their love story anywhere. If Mr. Rochester and Jane would have not ended up together, I think it still would have been a great book. Like, if their love story would have not been a part of the book at all towards the end, if, say, Jane was like, screw you, Mr. Rochester, I don't have time for this. I'm an independent, strong woman, and I just do not have time for your bullshit. If she would have just said that, then I think it would have been such a stronger book, and I would have loved her all the more. So, 
I don't know. I was just, it was just curious to me that the entire time that I was thinking about this book and writing this review, I completely ignored the fact that Mr. Rochester was a part of the story. And I think it's for a reason because he was just not that, I don't know, he, he just did not stick out for me that much. He wasn't someone that I, you know, read about and swooned or anything like that. I could understand Jane's attraction to him, but I am not a fan of his, really. Um, he's just there for me. My focus is on Jane and her, you know, ability to be a badass in all areas of her life. So um, I'm going to say those two, Gail and Mr. Rochester. Popular author you can't get into. I'm going to go with James Dashner because he took a, an amazing premise for the maze runner and completely drove it through to the ground like he completely ruined those books for me and they just got worse and worse so i'm gonna go with him i'm really bitter towards him and clearly resentful and clearly have a lot of feelings about it because i really did semi enjoy the first one and it could have just gotten better but the opposite happened so i'm gonna go with that one popular book trope you're tired of seeing um female heroines who seem to just not have a survival instinct whatsoever. I think that's really unrealistic. I mean, sometimes it'll be dark at night and I'm walking around. I am taking all precautions that I can to protect myself because I value my life. And I don't understand why all of a sudden because of a boy you met two weeks ago, you're gonna throw away every survival instinct that you have and just put your life at risk. You know, and it's over and over and over again that this happens. So I'm gonna go with that and also love triangles. I don't really like them because they feel very forced in most books. I don't understand where these women are just having so many choices available to them when it's so hard to just find one person you really truly connect with. So anyway, that's another topic. Popular book or series you have no interest in reading. I'm gonna talk about two. The first one is Girl on the Train. Um, I at first was really excited about this book because it's very, very hyped up on booktube. But the more reviews that I read and the more reviews that I watch here on booktube, the less I want to read this book to the point that I don't want to read it at all. Um, if I do give it a shot, it's like, you know, I pick it up at the library because I have nothing else to read. And um, looking at my TBR list, that's not going to be anytime soon or anytime in the next decade. So I'm probably not going to read Girl on the Train. And then another one that was, is very hard for me to say, but I don't think I'm going to read Ghost at a Watchman by Harper Lee. And the reason is because a lot of people hate this book. And that's okay, You're a lot, you know, a lot of people can hate a book, but a lot of people hate it for a very specific reason that makes me think that I would hate it just as much. So I don't think I'm going to take up Ghost at a Watchman. I think I'm just going to save it for never and um just keep Atticus Finch and you know To Kill a Mockingbird sacred and untarnished I think that's the best way to go and the last one is what movie or tv show do you prefer more than the book my number one answer for this is Fight Club I read the book and I've watched the movie and the movie is just amazing while you're reading the book you can kind of get a little bit confused but it really shows up very well in the movie and then the other one is one that I read recently, and that's Never Let Me Go by Kasuo Ishiguro. I watched the movie first, and I really enjoyed it. And then I read the book, and I prefer the movie after reading the book. I just think the atmosphere and the whole tragic aspect of the story um, plays a lot better as a movie. They're both really good. I just prefer the movie to the book. And those are all of my answers for the Unpopular Opinions book tag. I'm not going to tag anybody because I think almost all of the people that I subscribe to uh, have done this tag or are planning to, the, to do this tag. So I'm not going to tag anybody, but um, feel free to do it if you're watching this video and you are just looking for an excuse to do this tag. I highly recommend that you do. It's a lot of fun to think of all of these answers. And um, like I said earlier, it's a good opportunity to talk about books and authors that you otherwise wouldn't be talking about on your channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.